It's 8.38, and he isn't here yet. What a pussy. Oh never mind, look who's here. Wait a minute, why did you bring him here Leo? We mayn't you only. That's not the point. You wanted to talk to him, so you can. No, go away Caillou, this has nothing to do with you. No, Leo is my friend. Caillou, you don't have to stick up for him because you feel bad. Me and Caillou have been friends since primary school. He's always had my back. Ah cute, you need people to stick up for you. Man up a little. No I don't, it was actually Caillou's idea to come with me. Okay then, come on Russell. Wait what are you doing? Come on, do something about it, big man. Get off him, he hasn't done anything. Shut up Caillou, what you gonna do? Yeah that's what we thought. My bag. Look what you've done, you're gonna pay for that. Well you better make us. Look at Leo, he's crying, what a clown. You're not kidding, he actually is. That's not funny, how would you like it if someone did that to you? What's going on here? Sir, Russell and James ripped Leo's bag. You grasp. Thank you for telling me, but I want you four to come with me to the headmaster's office now. Also, pick up the bag. Come in. What's going on? Why is Leo upset? Well sir, I saw some commotion going on between these four, and Caillou told me Russell and James ripped Leo's backpack. Russell and James, I will make sure you pay for a new bag. You may go now sir. Thank you sir. So Caillou, can you tell me what else happened? Sure. So basically, Russell and James were making fun of Leo, calling him a pussy and saying he needs people to stick up for him. And then they grabbed onto his bag and ripped it. Thank you for telling me Caillou, you may go now. Thank you sir. So, why did you do it? We meant it as banter sir, but it went too far. Banter? You call that banter? We didn't mean it sir. And that makes it acceptable. Leo you can go, I need to speak to these two. What you two have done today is so messed up, it could even get you arrested, do you not realize that? We do sir. Now, I should call the police, but you know what, I'm gonna go easy on you two. For your punishment, you two will be suspended until you both bring in money for Leo to buy a new bag, your parents will be called. Now, go and wait for your parents at reception. Yes sir. What troublemakers? Come on James, let's go home now. Get in the car now, you're in big trouble. I cannot believe you would do something like this. I now have to pay money for something bad you did. I'm sorry mom, I didn't mean to break Leo's bag. Well it still doesn't get you out of your punishment. You are grounded for three weeks. Go to your room now. Yes mom. Hey Leo, what do you want? It must be so embarrassing having to carry that carrier bag around because you have no backpack. I don't want any trouble, just leave me alone. You know, we watched James and Russell rip your bag, it was so funny, and you cried like a baby. Yeah, you're just not manly enough. Do us all a favor and go kill yourself, you disgraceful excuse of a male. Ha ha, we probably made him cry, what a pussy. Hey Leo, what's wrong now? Some girls were making fun of me because I have to carry this carrier bag with me around. And they said I should kill myself because I'm a disgraceful excuse of a male. Jeez, that's messed up. Just ignore them, they're just words, and you know that's not true. But it really hurts you now. Leo, Caillou told me everything that happened, and it's okay to be upset in these kinds of situations. Try and keep away from them. Who were these girls anyway? I don't even know their names, they randomly just came up to me and took the piss out of me. Okay. Maybe it's best if you stay with us in between lessons. Yeah, we don't mind if you come with us, or go to Joseph and his friends. Okay, thanks guys. Let's go. Hi Leo. Hey, why do you have that carrier bag? And where is your backpack? Um, I don't want to say. What happened Leo? Tell me. I don't want to tell you mom. You better tell me Leo, or I'm gonna be worried. Okay, well, I...
What do you mean you don't have the money? Them two kids have been making my son's life hell, and now, my son is getting made fun of because he has to carry a carrier bag around school. Look miss, James and Russell have been suspended until they bring money in. I promise I will not let them back into school until the bug has been paid off. Well tap's not good enough. What do you mean, I have taken the appropriate action required? Well you never know, them kids may never pay the money, and would much rather not have an education. Well if that's the case, can't you buy your son a new bag with your own money? No, I'm not paying for something because of some parents who can't bring up their kids properly. Well then, I suppose you're going to have to wait. I'm sorry, but there's nothing else I can do. I'll tell you what. If I don't get the money by next Monday, then I demand the police get involved with this.